We've been grunting and slogging up this mountain for three weeks, and it's the night before. We're getting focused. It's it's like the whole year funneling into ten seconds, and that ten seconds will happen tomorrow. No, it's too late for second thoughts. You only have second thoughts if you don't think you're going to do it. Dying, climbing a mountain, or or jumping off something has no romantic appeal about it whatsoever. Really, I mean, it's the the ultimate failure of, of any sort of adventure activity. I don't want to die. One person's dream is another person's nightmare. Nobody has the same drives or ambitions or volume to their life. So are you saying that life will be richer tomorrow after you've jumped off? Oh, yeah. jump off the cliff and whatever apprehensions Glenn's had and however much Glenn's thought about dying and, and hitting the cliff where his parachute's not working, all that will be overwhelmed by a visual explosion. What I fear is that I won't perform as I've been trained. To do that would be to let you down, would be to let me down, but I might get myself killed as well. We're making the jump together. I'll launch off behind Glenn with my helmet cameras facing forward filming him and his facing back to film me. We also have cameras on our chest and leg. We don't want to miss a thing. But all of a sudden when you are standing on the edge and it's right there before you, it's difficult. Ready, three, two, one. spun off the ice, my head's off its own base jump, and I was rolling after it. I'm going head down, losing it, out of control. I panic, come on, into a tunnel. The pilot shoot, no, upside down, I'll just be wrapped. Speed. Whoa! Granite in my face. I might hit this. This wasn't the plan. Get out of the tumble. I have to open. Whoa! Ground rush. Whoa! The pilot shoot is stiff. Come on!
I really don't want to break my legs. A week from some remote third world town where we can't even buy a, a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen thousand eight hundred feet. This is going to be the fastest landing I've ever had. Just before impact, I pulled down on the back of the canopy with all my strength. It slowed down, <laughs> and suddenly I was on the ground. Landing was more of the same. <clears throat> Seven kilos of cameras on my head, and over I go. Then the emotions I held in from the jump just overcame me. I have never been on my back on a base jump before, but I was in control when it mattered, and I feel great. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. All I could think is that life is sweet, so sweet. A mountaineer on Nameless Tower was at the landing area. And I was concerned and, and remarked that I made this, this great error and I'd, I'd done these somersaults. And he said to me that, you know, I shouldn't be concerned because only 300 people in the world would know that. It was a problem, and I said that it was a real problem because they were all my friends. <laughs>